Hi, I'm L.C. Greenwood. When I played football with the four-time Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers, my number was 68. But I have another number. It's my ID number as a participant in a clinical research study at the University of Pittsburgh. You can join a clinical research study too. It's your chance to be part of a groundbreaking medical research that changes people's lives. Learn what clinical research studies are all about and you can be part of a winning team. Every revolutionary medical discovery starts with clinical research. The medicine we take, the surgical procedures we rely on, the vaccines that prevent disease, and the therapies that help us recover from injury and resume our normal lives exist because they were proven effective through research. Noah, what's the doll's name? What's the doll's name? Doll's name? The goal of clinical research is to improve existing health care and to discover new treatments and therapies. At the University of Pittsburgh, everyday people like you are helping researchers to accomplish these goals by participating in research studies. Clinical research is really the cornerstone for making progress in, uh, in how we practice medicine. In Pittsburgh, you know, we have a rich history of people participating in clinical research. And a, and a prime example is Jonas Salk. If we didn't have participants for the vaccine program, we wouldn't have been able to eliminate polio. And Pittsburghers really stepped up and made a difference that affected not only our community, but the rest of the world. The polio vaccine is only one part of Pittsburgh's impressive history when it comes to improving health through research. Thanks to those who already participated in studies, University of Pittsburgh researchers developed CPR and engineered Pittsburgh Compound B, which could revolutionize the detection and treatment of Alzheimer's disease. They developed preventative measures as simple as the Mr. Yuck sticker and as life-altering as organ transplants pioneered by Dr. Thomas Starzl. These and many other medical breakthroughs have advanced science and changed our lives thanks to clinical research. The reason that I get up in the morning is to not only see whether I can make a difference in individual patients, but hopefully I can make a difference in a more global sense in terms of how medicine is practiced. You can be part of the team that makes a difference in the way medicine is practiced by becoming a participant in one of the many research studies taking place at the University of Pittsburgh. So how are you doing today? Uh, Okay, I'm getting a little tired, but mm -hmm. I guess that's just from the radiation that I'm mm -hmm. going through, and I only have six more treatments, so. Good. My husband had had cancer. He passed away a year ago, and he was offered clinical trials, and he refused them. And after he refused them, in my mind, I thought, what an opportunity to help other people that he didn't take that. And I often said to myself that if ever I had the opportunity, I would participate. And who, who's your medical oncologist? Peggy Drummond okay. did have an opportunity to participate in a study when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. It was just a wonderful opportunity for me to help someone else down the road with cancer. The first clinical trial that I was in, they took a genetic testing of my tumor, and then randomly they chose me to take the radiation and the hormone therapy. Basically, the clinical trial was folded into the cancer care I was already getting. It wasn't like a giant leap into something, into a foreign area. It was all intermingled together. I did not feel that it was an inconvenience. When I was randomized, I just had to, the, had to have the radiation and the hormone yeah. therapy. We know that certain drugs now are more effective with fewer side effects. And when I talk to my patients about clinical trials, I, I, I say to them, well, the mere fact that I have these choices for you today is because somebody like yourself some years ago decided to, in fact, uh, uh, agree to participate in, in a clinical trial. Down the road, there will be a way of curing all cancers, not just breast cancer. And the clinical trials, to me, are very important for that step. 
And again, that's how we make progress, is by this continual clinical investigation, clinical trials participation. And so I think as a society in general, we all win when we participate in clinical trials. Learn more about clinical research and ongoing studies at the University of Pittsburgh. Visit our website or call today.